Hello and welcome to a new lecture. So today will be the first lab. We will see how we can change our network IP address for Zyko and how we can create extensions. So first I will go to system tab. Then we will go to network. From here we working on one port. Don't confuse about this. One for your local area network and LAN for your SIP trunk from ITSP. So I will put IP address for my LAN 192.168.11.253 or you can put 254. I recommend to put IP in the latest, uh, latest range of your network. So you can know this IP for Zyko and I put my gateway 11.1 and you can keep the public DNS. So I will click on save then submit and now operation success so after that we will close we will open a new tab and close the old tab and i will go to new ip first make sure you put https 192.168.11.254 then enter so this is the tab i was speaking about it if you see this page just click on advance and the proceed and save this page telling you that this site or this Zyco product not have valid certificate and most asterisk products they have this page what is asterisk asterisk open source uh, packages and modules we can install them on any Linux system and create our IPBX like we have many products work on asterisk like Zyco grand stream yes star switchbox and Isabel and the free BBX vital BBX all of them working in the top of asterisk so first thing we have linux layer after that asterisk layer and the zyco product or grand stream or yester or freebbx you can learn about asterisk more if you go to asterisk so this is asterisk you you have asterisk.org they have certifications you can take dcap certification dgm certified asterisk professional or d uh, DGM certifi certified asterisk associate and they have many uh, seminars like Astericon products they have their own products like switchbox so you can search about it so for now I will make login admin admin first thing before we create extensions I'm uh, I have to create password for our user so we have to uh, make sure we don't have any vulnerability in our system we will secure the passwords the firewall we will see all of this but first step we will secure our password so I will go to maintenance user and I will put the old user and I will type the new password so this is the old password and the new password and confirmation then I will click save then we will go to telephony extensions so if we go to IP extensions from here we can create one extension or bulk extensions so if i want to create more than one extension i will click on bulk add but first i will see how we can create one extension so we will click on add now this is the extension number 100 if you want you can put like 101 but if you want to put extension like 1000 you cannot because you have to change the extension range from preferences i will let you see how you change it you go to preference then you see here user extension number range we have from 100 until 899 if you want to change you can click 1000 until 2000 then you click save after that you can make extensions in 1000 range but for now we have 100 range so I will click on add so my extension number 100 and I will put the name my name and I prefer to keep the password as it is just copy it this is password for SIP extension and here you have some features like dial permission for outgoing calls we will see later how we can make dial permission so this extension can call only locally in our country or national can call a mobile number or international so we will make a groups later you can make language for this extension for audio prompt for example if you call this extension and this extension busy you will hear the audio in English language or Chinese or Arabic you can select whatever you want and we will see music on hold later outbound CID for zip trunk email we will see all these features later 
and here you you have some features if you want to enable this extension as remote extension so that's mean I can enable this extension for uh, remote calls like I am now in Canada as I said before and the PPX in Middle East so I can make free calls for between Canada and Middle East for free and we have some features web portal video call call spy voicemail you can enable it you can disable it we will enable it now you have certain uh, uh, simulations calls uh, registration I mean so this extension you want maximum how many extension uh, registered to this account at the same time uh, so I have 100 I can create five phones for extension 100 or only one phone I prefer if you have one phone just keep it for one device only because attackers sometimes if you make it three and you have one phone maybe someone attack you and can register on two or three so keep it for one if you have one extension only and here the video codec if we enable video calls call recording you can enable it for inbound calls and or outbound or in and out we'll keep it later advanced we have here some features like for example we create when we create remote extensions I enable IAX protocol IAX protocol work on single port 4569 so SIP protocol work on 5060 and 5061 for secure SIP and the problem for uh, SIP protocol there is RTP real-time protocol so when we make call when we establish call uh, the phone will take port from 10,000 until 20,000 so if we have a problem with netting so the phone for example take port like 30,000 so we will hear one-way audio we cannot hear the uh, another person because of the RTP the phone taking port over RTP ports so I prefer for remote extension to use IAX protocol we will explain about this later for SIP you will not face a problem in local LAN so we have also some features like audio codec you can use whatever audio codec a low u low j729 and the dtm of mode dtmf this for when you call for example any uh, company you hear welcome to our company press one to speak with the operator so you have to make sure you are using F rfc 4733 uh, so because most of ppx is using this one if you use another one like maybe in band or sip info if you click one to speak with operator you will not see any effect so just keep it like this or make it auto some all of these features mostly we didn't use it we keep it default we, just, we will just use ix extension later so this is my extension i will copy the password and i will click save after that we will see i have to create uh, i have to click apply changes yes now we want to test on our phone so we will download soft phone we will go to Google and download microsip soft phone so we will go to microsip this is soft phone we have many soft phones microsip Zoibar, Jetsi, x Lite. so you will click on download after that you will click on uh, setup very easy setup you will click ok next 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 after that it will uh, set up with you so I already set up this phone so I have here my microsip you will see it like this so this is my soft phone I will click here then I will click add account so first the account name we can click edit here so my account name will be 100 the extension number so I will put 100 and the SIP server IP 192.168.11.254 the IP address and the username also 100 the same extension number the domain 192.168.11.254 this is domain the SIP server domain and the login 100 extension number and the password I will paste the password this password and we will click on publish a presence publish a presence mean if you take a break of or if you have a call it will publish your presence your status and I will click save so now we are online I can make call if I have any extension I can make any call but now you don't have extension so I will create another extension on another soft phone so I will click on bulk add this time 
so I will make bulk add from 101 and I will increase the count until 2 so we will create 101 and 102 we will see all these features later and uh, uh, voicemail you, you can see the same features you can select all features call recording are disabled now and you can put here password if you didn't put password and click save you will see random password if I click edit now we have random password so I will click apply changes yes now I have another soft phone this soft phone is Zoiber so you can search about Zoiber then you go to download then you download for Windows after you download just make setup next 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 very easy so I will open Zoiber so if you go to switchboard right now uh, we can see now we have one extension Khalid 100 this is the IP for my PC and 101 and 102 are offline so this is the switchboard I tell you about it before so this is my Zoiber when once you finish the setup you will see this screen you will continue as a free user uh, okay I will delete this one just to be with you so after you set up you will see this screen now it will ask you for to put your extension at your SIP server like 101 this is my extension at 192.168.11.254 and you have to put the password so this is the password I think this is the password yes I want to confirm just copy again uh, this is not the password so I will paste it and I will click login then I will click next then skip now already the system the Zoiber soft phone detects the SIP extension now next and add uh, sorry just like this so we can use one extension now if I go to switch port we have two extensions 100 and 101 you can see the IP address the millisecond the millisecond means uh, we have like millisecond for this extension like bandwidth for this extension it's, it's 36 or 5 uh, sometimes if you have remote extension you will see the millisecond high like over 200 or 300 why because it's connected over internet so to reach to from remote extension to IBBX it will take more millisecond more time the more millisecond the more bad for you if you have high millisecond so you will hear sometimes cutting in audio the good millisecond is below 200 over 200 sometimes you will hear delay between the calls so it's depend on many things in network if you have pure network giga switches you have VLANs it will be more good your soft phones like you see microsoft phone very good phone it's used uh, a little bit milliseconds not like Zoiper Zoiper maybe make some updates or some uh, many packets to the Zoiper, uh, Zoiper uh, website so now we will test call I will call 101 and click call so now I have here one call you can see 100 is busy 101 is ringing so I can take the call from here, from here. test 121 test what so I already finished the call this is simple uh, uh, how we can create extensions register them and we will see in next lecture how we can enable recording and I will create one more phone but this phone will be hardware phone not soft phone so we will see how we can register hardware uh, phones like headset uh, I mean uh, fanville phone or yelling phones or Zyco phones so any SIP phones you can register it with Zyco even Avaya if you have Avaya phones like SIP, uh, SIP phones or Cisco you can regis register them because SIP is standard protocol all phones most of phones support SIP protocol so thank you for now and goodbye